Hi, tea timers. So today I am drinking um, a tea called rose water. No, no, it's not called rose water. It has rose roses in it, like little tiny, tiny rose petals. It's called angel water. And it's, um, it's an herbal tea, which is different for me because I usually go for my big old jolts of caffeine. But um, I'm gonna do my jolt of caffeine a little bit later when I'm writing. So here we go. more serene already I'm so suggestible I once had these um this teapot and I got that tea I don't know if you guys have ever seen it where it's just a ball and I bought the glass teapot because I thought my kids would like it and you plop the tea in and then it blooms it's really pretty and it just is sitting there sort of waving in the water um but I don't know what happened to it I must have donated it at some at, at one of my many moves mm -hmm. okay let's see today I'm going to to do oh 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 there was something I was gonna say with crew man 1992 uh, that I realized yesterday uh, her question or her his question was would you and Jen ever do a movie together and I had talked about wanting to do a play so yeah we would do a movie as well that would be fine I always thought when I first went to LA and I was staying in Jen's apartment um, and I watched all these shows and I'd seen Laverne and Shirley for the first time I thought that Jen and I would do a show like that like Laverne and Shirley the two sisters except for they weren't sisters they were friends but I just thought that would be the coolest thing ever. And um, I don't know, that was just like a big dream or, or you know, Lucy, you know, Lucy and Ethel or, <laughs> but you know, we are, our careers went on different trajectories. So I had always wanted to do that kind of comedy where you make people laugh and feel good. Um, Let's see, so, oh, but we did do one thing together. I remember when I first came, Jen had me go, we went to this course, she said, it's writing, it's acting, because there's different kinds of acting, and this is acting for the camera. And so we went to do this thing, and there was improv, and I remember there was this really cute guy, and uh, Jen and I were, were there, and she had the good ideas, so then, we were talking to him and kind of flirting with him and then we started sashaying up and singing strangers in the night <laughs> he looked really trapped anyway i i just remember that just because it was so much fun and um it, it it was really really funny i don't remember anything more other than you know doing that and singing and him going like <laughs> trying to get away oh as we tried to as the two sisters seduce him but then Jen told me years later that this guy became some kind of really big fancy actor on Saturday Night Live. Um, I don't remember his name, but Jen would. So, uh, so I do remember that. And I was like, oh, cool. And, and, he, and I remember afterwards he had thought it was really fun too. Um, so anyway, so that's the kind of thing I'd like to do. I'd love to do with Jen. But I don't know if that'll ever happen. Oh, another thing. I got offered a movie yesterday, but I can't do it, of course, because quarantine. But I was really excited that somebody wanted was asking about my availability. That 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 um, somebody still wanted me to do something. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so Katie S. Hi Meg, love your pajamas. What was it like working with Matt Dillon and Emilio Stevis in Tex? Any fun memories on set? I shared a few photos of the promotion. Oh, I remember those photos. Um, where they had you all dressed up in Lee cowgirl plaid tops and cowboy boots, outfits in Teen Magazine uh, to promote the film. And you said you were embarrassed at the time, but they were fun to look back on. I love your tips on motivation. Thank you for sharing your cozy outlook on life. Well, thanks for writing in. Um, so yes, I, I do remember we did the Lee and, and I just remember, I guess the reason I was embarrassed is because um i was trying to be like a model so it wasn't like natural they put us in poses and so i was sort of like you know showing showing off trying to be like showing off the clothes and and i just thought i looked silly um and also i just had my hair cut uh really short and i and i wasn't crazy about it at the time 
But anyway, the interesting thing, one of the things uh, about text that's quite, quite special is, uh, I think it might have been Emilio's first movie as well. But what happened is, I got called in. I got called in. So what happened is my sister, when I first moved to LA, she said, you have to have your picture in player's directory. I didn't know what player's directory was. And she said, we have to get your headshot. So we made an appointment with a photographer and I took a bunch of photos and Jenna helped me choose the best ones. You get a, a sheet and then you mark the ones and you get to choose three poses. And for that, it's included in the price. And then you take the pictures and Jen taught me how to do that. You take it to a printer and you run off a whole bunch of copies with your name on it. And we wrote up a fake um, resume where we put in place that Jen and I did in high school because I had no training other than my ballet training and that I was in fame and I got my, I got my SAG card from um, Alan Parker. And so, um, so, so, I did all of that and, and I wasn't really, I'd done a play that was in my first play, which was with, um, with the guy who took over with John Boy and with Sean Penn. And, um, that's a whole nother story, um, <laughs> but I'd done, I'd done a couple little things. And so I had that on, but, and I got an agent from the play, but I wasn't really being sent out. And then one day I got this call saying, I've got an appointment for you to go to Disney Studios for this movie text. And it was like, uh, an appointment, an appointment. Oh my goodness. So Jen helped me figure out, um, figure out something good to wear. And I put on a little bit of, little bit of makeup and I got my map because you didn't have Google maps or anything like that. You had to get those paper maps. So I was really nervous because I'd never been to a studio and um, Jen thought that was really cool too. I was gonna go to a studio lot and I was gonna get a pass. So I got, uh, I drove all the way there and I was really nervous and I, I had my whole route planned out on my, on my map and I get there and I waiting and you know, there's other girls there and, um, and then I go in and um, I read my sides that I got that morning that I quickly memorized, I'd memorized but I'd held them in my hand so it didn't look like this was the best I could do. That was another trick Jen taught me. <laughs> so, and I, and I did them and I noticed that the guy who was a director, he was sort of bald and I think he had glasses. He kind of sat up a bit and he asked me, let's do it again. So I did it again. And he seemed to get more excited. He's kind of like, uh, would you mind if I put you on tape? And I'm like, no, no, that's fine, go ahead. I don't know what tape is. <laughs> so I read it again. And then, uh, and then he seemed to get very excited and, he's, and he was, took me around and he was showing me things like things about the lot and, and was talking and he, apparently his wife, they had been, it was the last day, the last half hour of casting for this movie that they had been trying to cast for three months and they couldn't decide. Uh, the director was leaning a bit towards Laura Dern, uh, but she was 14 and Matt was 17 and the producer thought that she was a little bit too young and he wanted somebody who was older. And then the director, and then Tim said, but you know, I mean, she's 20, 20 or 21 or whatever it was, whatever age I was. And he goes, and we couldn't have that. I mean, Matt's 17, she'd look like his mother. <laughs> And then he said, by the way, how old are you? And I swallowed hard and I said, 19. <laughs> so I lied about my age. And oh my gosh, that was so terrible because I don't like lying. And, um, but I thought, well, I, I don't want to, you know, ruin my chances because he thinks that I'm, I'm too old. So um, I, for the first couple little while in my career, I had to lie because then once you have a lie, it kind of, you know, snowballs and, um, and I had to stick with the age, which uh, I didn't like at all because I, I didn't like uh, every time. I just felt when they'd say my age or I'd read it, I'd just feel this flush of shame. But I was really happy because I ended up getting the film. So I go back home and there's a message on my answering machine. Jen's away at uh, rehearsal. So I'm so excited, but I play the machine and it's my agent. And she said, you got the job. <laughs> 
which I didn't realize never happens. It was like fairy tale. It was like, you know, those stories you read. And she said, so you need to leave. Can you leave for, she said, call me. So I called her and she said, can you leave for Oklahoma next week? And I was like, next week, okay. okay. And I couldn't wait till Jen came home and I told her and we were giddy, like, oh my gosh, I got the job. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to Oklahoma. They're gonna fly me and they're gonna pay me money. <laughs> I, and so it was really, really exciting. I, I probably just got, you know, SAG minimum. I, I, who cares? I was so excited. And so then I had to go, Jen and I had to go down into the valley and there was this place called Lee for wardrobe. They were doing wardrobe. And so they got me, I guess they were sponsoring part of the film. They got me Lee jeans that fit really, really well. I'd never tried Lee jeans before and they were really good. And they also said, I got boots, cowboy boots for the thing. And they had decided to throw in two pair of cowboy boots. And I just wanted the brown ones that kind of disappeared because, you know, she lived in Oklahoma. She would have worn boots and, you know, and, and she would, you know, know how to wear them and use them. And I got to take the boots home with me because, um, they wanted me to wear them in and the jeans, which was like, Oh my gosh, I didn't know you get free clothes for doing movies. So, um, I went home and then they special ordered. The guy said, no, you can get any boot you want. They said you can have two pair of boots. So you get that one. And how about, cause they were sponsoring. He said, I'm going to make you custom boots. I'm going to make you snakeskin. <laughs> I was like, snakeskin? But he seemed really excited about like these snakeskin boots. I think they might have been Cobra. They were white and black. Um, had like white with little black flecks in them. Anyway, he was going to do that. And they would send them to me when they were ready. And they did a, a thing of my foot and everything. So that was, that was like pretty amazing. And um, so then I flew to Oklahoma. And uh, the thing I remember about Oklahoma, it was flat and it was uh, dry and there were, we were like staying in this motel in a strip mall and I remember they had such good fried chicken. Now I know I go back to fried chicken, you could tell I like it, but it was so good. They had this fried chicken house I would go to when I could get a ride and they had um, big long picnic tables, like family style picnic tables. So you sat with other people and, um, and then they had things, baskets of biscuits that had red and white checked paper in it. And the biscuits were melt in the mouth, all buttery, like so good. And, um, it was just like, and then you, people would talk to you. And of course, all us um, actors, we got there a little bit early and we were walking around in our cowboy boots, trying to pretend we were from Oklahoma and listening to people and trying to pick up the Oklahoma accent, which we, we probably were terrible at, but we thought we were, you know, we were actors acting. <laughs> And, um, you know, staying kind of a little bit in character. And it was, I think it was Emilio's first film as well. And, um, and we'd go dancing sometimes. And, uh, and, but then the cool thing was, I'm not going to tell you uncozy memories of the movie, but there were cozy memories, first film. Um, and, th but then I was so disappointed because, you know, I told you about my film, uh, fame experience where I was really excited. And then when I was all excited, we were going to go see the film, you know, and I sat down and then there was my big old face. So <laughs> it's like horrified. I told you that, 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 yeah, it's really, it was like, oh no. Um, but, uh, let's see what else. Oh, and those cowboy boots came in good stead because Urban Cowboy had just come out and Jen loved that movie and she took me to see that movie. And so then we were like, we're gonna be urban cowgirls because we have the boots and everything because my other boots had come. And so I would wear my Lee jeans and we'd wear our cowboy boots and we'd go in and there would be cute guys and there would be line dancing and they would teach you the dances and, and we would do it and I'd be like, oh yeah, and I'm a dancer so I could pick it up quick. <laughs> and then we'd line dance, you know, forward and back and blah, blah, blah. And they'd have sawdust on the floors in the dance club places and, and paper on the tables where we'd eat appetizers and have our drink. And, oh, and we got cow, cowboy hats too. So that was fun because we were urban cowgirls. We wish that they had one of those, those um, mechanical bulls because we would ride it, but they didn't have mechanical bulls where we went. So, so that's what I remember. Thanks for the question. And I'll uh, have a great weekend. See you on Tuesday. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, um, I'm doing a... Uh, FaceTime live with um, Susan Elizabeth Phillips on September 17th at 3 central time on her Facebook. So um, we'll be talking a bunch about stuff. So 
you can join us. I'll probably remember to hopefully remember to write again. Oh, oh, and my husband put links below. I don't know what <laughs> they're links, <laughs> whatever. Okay. Bye.